Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Vahid Ahmed and I am going to, to today discuss about the teratogenesis which is the topic of developmental biology. So far it has been developed as a subject of teratology. So it has been a specialized subject in the field of medical sciences and even biological sciences. So today we are going to discuss about the teratogenesis. What is teratogenesis? What content I am going to follow about the teratogenesis? is what we discuss in this uh, in this uh, lecture so this is basically an introductory video about the teratogenesis i have i am going to uh, compile this lecture in two videos so first of all what content we are going to cover in the two videos i am going to discuss it today so the first uh, content we are going to introduce what is teratogenesis what is the definition of teratogens what are the characteristics of teratogens, uh, teratogens? What, uh, what role does it have or association with have medical abdology or what are genetic malformations and syndrome are involved due to this uh, teratogenesis and disruption and teratogens. The second point we are going to discuss is about the uh, types of environmental teratogens and the third point teratogenic effects. What, are, what effect does this teratogens have? The third point is stages of development and species susceptibility towards teratogens. And the next point is wildlife teratogenesis and then at the end we are going to conclude that. So today we are going to discuss uh, the first three topics uh, of, this, uh, of this lecture and then further on in the next video you will be discussing this in detail stages of development and species uh, susceptibility and wildlife teratogenesis. In essence, and we will finally we will be concluding that. So first, first of all, I want to define you that what are the definition of teratogenesis? Teratogenesis is a Greek word, and uh, tera means a uh, terato means a monster. Genesis means a creation. So monster creation. So in the 17th or 18th century, it was referred as a monster creation. So what is the role in developmental biology? We know that. Uh, we know that uh, the, born, the infants born in our world have certain abnormalities. That abnormalities could be due to the genetic reason or uh, that abnormalities may be due to the environmental factor. When it is caused by the environmental factor, then uh, those factors which are causing them are called as teratogens. Teratogens cause, uh, cause, uh, cause a abnormal phenomenon uh, of a body which is defined as teratogenesis. What are the characteristics? Characteristics will be defined or will be explained on the basis of this lecture. We are at the end going to have the characteristics after discussing the topic. So next point is medical embryology and teratology. What association does it have? Genetic morphation and syndrome and disruption and teratogen. Okay, and now I am going to discuss over the uh, medical embryology and teratology. So far, I have descri described you, uh, there are a number of infants that are born in this world which basically have abnormal feet, abnormal, they have congenital anomalies by birth, they have anomalies, they may be due to the genetic. When they are due to this genetic reason, they are termed as genetic malform malformations. So, when collection of malformations results, that is a syndrome. So, uh, that may be shortening of legs, limbs, limbs or uh, basically shortening of air or uh, heart problem or something of valve or limb defects or certain facial defects or cleft palate. These are all as an individual or moral formation. When they are combined together, they form a syndrome because uh, all these are uh, in combination, uh, all these are a result due to syndrome. And syndrome is due to the genetic reason mostly. What genetic reason? I am going to give you an example. There is a that genetic malformation is basically about uh, uh, the disease which I am going to discuss here. That disease is basically a pipe bardism. That disease is basically pipe bardism. Okay, what is pipe bardism? Pipe bardism is a syndrome. Uh, that causes basically what? That causes anemia, sterility, unpigmentation of region of skin and hair, deafness, and absence of nerves that cause parasitosis. Uh, as an individual, there may be a malformation. Malformation is also referred to 
basically as skeleton abnormality. But these are all bar formation. When they are combined together, they form a syndrome. So these are basically the symptoms or the signs that uh, a person carry by bardism. Uh, okay, as we are uh, discussing that genetic morph, uh, it's a genetic morph. Uh, malformation, so it may be due to some gene. Yes, there is a gene, there has been studied which reported that KIT gene is one of the genes that basically, uh, that basically, a problem in that gene or uh, that gene in a dominant matter, uh, in a dominant mode of inheritance causes uh, the, that genetic mutation, dominant mutation in genetic, uh, dominant mutation in KIT gene cause this genetic morphology which is known as basically pi bardism and pi bardism anemia stability pigment features deafness absence of nerves that cause bardism okay now moving on to this uh, this genetic morphology and the kit gene what have done what role does it have in development so the point come here the role of kit 4 gene is that it is uh, it expresses a protein uh, in uh, neural crystals which is actually a part of uh, um, which is actually uh, are present during the development, uh, germ cells, uh, your blood cells, your uh, any precursors to blood blood stem cells. The uh, this basically kit kit gene. Okay, remember one thing that uh, kit gene uh, gene is always written in capital and italics manner. So this is a wrong way kit italics manner. When it's uh, referred as a protein. So it's a kit, kit protein. So uh, there is another thing I want to tell you that uh, this capitalization of gene is uh, capitalization of alphabet is gene in the human. Uh, in case of uh, mouse, for example, that that also carry a kit gene that has kit, K capital, K is capital, and I and T are small. So in humans, all the alphabet are, uh, alphabets are capital while you put representing a gene and uh, only one capital letter in case of uh, mouse. So this is the way to represent me and in both proteins uh, small alphabet are used to represent the protein. Okay, we are talking about kit protein that is expressed in number one. Uh, that is expressed in uh, I think so I have to raise that. Okay, kit genes basically are expect, uh, expressed in number one neural crust cells, number two, and they are expressed in uh, precursor to blood cells, number three, they are extra uh, kit gene expressed in basically precursors to germ cells. So this protein expressed in kit, kit protein is expressed in these cells. When this uh, this protein has a mutation, is not functioning at, uh, functioning at all. What would happen? It would happen that uh, in the, these cells, uh, which are going to be uh, your cells, which are going to uh, basically your uh, would be lead to development of your hair and skin follicles and their color. So, if uh, that protein is not expressed, so there will be no pigmentation. There will be basically, uh, um, there, there may be basically a deafness because it is problem with uh, it cause development of air too. There will be also involved development of air too. So, uh, what uh, and it may be have effect because neurocrust uh, cells play a uh, 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 play a important role in the formation of nervous system. So, it, uh, the ner nerves of the uh, gut are not developed. So, parasitic movement uh, would be uh, basically damaged. So, neurocrust cells, when this basically neurocrust cells, uh, when precursors to blood cells, uh, the ketone protein absent or it's malformed or it's uh, dysfunctional, then it would cause basically anemia and, and other germ cells that will definitely, when germ cells are affected, uh, it leads to sterility. So, an organism cannot develop its generation. Okay, so this is basically what I am trying genetic malformation and syndrome. So I have example given an example of basically pi bardism. Pi bardism is caused due to mutation a uh, dominant mutation in kit gene. And kit gene uh, basically produce a protein which is, affects the development during neurocrystals, 
precursor to blood cells and germ cells. When these are affected, they cause the symptoms such as anemia, sterility, and pigmentation with them, deafness, absence of growth, and paradoxes. So this is basically during the development. So genetic modification is not. This is one way how internal uh, genetic problems cause based, uh, abnormality. So telogenesis is basically creation of monsters. So actually, uh, it's like a abnormal body is like a monster. So it is categorized under the teratogenesis. But there is an environmental teratogenesis in case when it is coded by genetic which is genetic morphologies. When environmental teratogen, any chemical, any component of environment that affects the developmental process and creates an abnormal organism is basically a teratogen. So environmental teratogens cause basically disruption. Genetic teratogens, basically genetics is called genetic malformation. Well, it's an environmental cue. It called uh, these are not referred as genetic malformations. These are referred as disruption. So moving on to this disruption, I am going to give for an example of a foco media. In in the latest in in the in the one century in the previous 19th century or 20th century, I am not exactly remembering that. Uh, there has been excessive use of a drug thylo, uh, thyl thylidomide. Drug is thylidomide. Uh, thylidomide. That results basically what it deserves. More than seven thousand infant infants were born. Uh, what we call uh, is uh, what we call with congenital anomaly, and sometimes they have certain symptoms, and their uh, death ratio was reduced. So it was thought that. Uh, thalidomide is a drug that is basically affecting the developmental process. So what effect does it have? It has basically caused absence of hair, it has basically absence of thumbs or malform thumbs or malform arms. So we are going to take the example that thalidomide cause uh, disruption which is known as, known as focomelia which is known as focomelia. This is known as phobia and this is disruption, not a syndrome because uh, it is caused by the environmental factor. So phobia is one uh, one example uh, that has been studied that environmental teratogens cause it. So what are the effects? Absence of hair, malformed abs uh, thumbs, absence of arms, dislocation of limbs, mal malformation of hair, absence of legs, uh, legs, uh, swear shortness of legs. Uh, malformed thumbs and days are so. What I am trying to say here, why these uh, what, uh, after the birth uh, these uh, symptoms appear? Because during the developmental process, these are we know that being a human being uh, and every one of being an adult and studying the subject, we know that uh, female passes through a menstruation cycle regularly. When it does not pass, it means she has got pregnant after population and something like that. So uh, uh, if uh, the female does, uh, doesn't have 50 days uh, or 50 days uh, of um, uh, does not represent menstruation within 15 days so and uh, it, and shows a sign of pregnancy then if she takes a drug known as thalidomide, thalidomide what would happen if it is taken between 34 to 38 days after the mensura first menstruation uh, after the menstruation, not first menstruation, after the last menstruation, then uh, days of uh, days after menstruation, can you uh, it's the uh, days about when uh, she was pregnant, uh, 34 to 38, when it was taken, it has a fact that uh, a child born would have absence of it. Then if it is taken between 38, uh, so it does not show any uh, this, uh, form of uh, uh, form, uh, any form of deformity in uh, thumbs or limbs, but it shows for absence of it. What does that mean? What does that mean? That uh, by that teratogen, thalidomide has affected the development of air or cells, uh, cells that develop air that have been affected by the drug only at that stage. stage. But if we move on this uh, another uh, between 38 to 42 days, then it have affected limbs. So so on. So uh, what we can characterize from that teratogen affect specific developmental process. At specific stage, so teratogens have specific stage. From this, I have, I would conclude that those who are not pregnant females and take teratogens like that, that would not be considered because uh, thalidomide have been sometimes expressed as anti-tumor drug. 
So when she is not pregnant, so these centers would not appear in the child definitely. So it is certainly than for the development process. So this drug has effect on the development somehow. So dislocation of limbs, malformation. So after menstruation, when she is pregnant, when a female is pregnant, uh, the drug taken uh, ha taken has reported with such symptoms. When the drug was taken after these days, uh, the child showed that uh, that uh, form of malformation. So this is how disruption has been caused, and it is environmental in nature. Uh, uh, the the, uh, the pi genetic in nature gene has affected it. And here, the drug which we have taken after a certain time of uh, menstruation, last menstruation, has effect. So this is teratogen. So from there, we are moving to the next topic, which is type of teratogens. Basically, there are four types of teratogens, which I am going to uh, uh, describe briefly. First, teratogens is mechanical teratogens. The second. I am going to quote this chemical aerotrogens. Third one basically is endocrine disrupting aerotrogens. And the fourth one basically. I am going to hit a uh, quote here is basically environmental teratogens that is basically of a major broad category of teratogens. So, mechanical teratogens, chemical teratogens, endocrine, disrupting endocrine, and environmental teratogens. These are the basically four types of teratogens which affect the developmental process. So, mechanical teratogens are those such as if a a uh, stone has got some harm during the developmental process. So, if there is a form malformation that would exist throughout the life, if for suppose a tadpole is developing and his uh, his leg has been damaged by some fish or some sort of that, his uh, leg is not un, uh, unable to develop. That is a mechanical teratogen. Chemical teratogen. We know that there are certain chemicals such as uh, thalidomide is a chemical teratogen that affects the development and at specific stage endocrine disrupting. So there are certain teratogens that affect the hormonal activity. So that affect basically development of an organism. Environment teratogens are uh, such as eutrophication, high growth of the bloom. So this uh, causes the hypoxic and anoxic conditions in the water. So that results in uh, a kind of teratogenic and uh, malformation in the organisms of the sea. So these are the basic four categories of teratogens, and we are going to discuss in detail each of uh, each of them with examples. So I am going to end my introductory lecture here. This was all about uh, the introduction to the teratogenesis uh, which would be completed in the second video. So if you like my video do comment, share, like and if you have any questions post in the comments so that I could answer you uh, carefully and uh, if you want the notes or uh, lecture notes regarding that, uh, that would be available on my Facebook page uh, named as Vahidamal and you can search as Incredible Wow. So do like that page to have more content and do like my video or subscribe my channel to have more videos about. And uh, for your information, I am going to develop uh, uh, lecture videos on principles of development that would be available, uh, available in the first May of week. So it will cover in detail the principles of developmental biology so you can learn the more content. Thank you so much.